Hi, so we're here at Embedded World demonstrating with our partners here at the Open Source Automation Development Lab, demonstrating some of the latest open source hardware and software platforms around Texas Instruments technology. I'm really excited here to be able to show you one of the latest boards from the guys at BeagleBoard.org, and this is the board called the Beagle Bone. Now the Beagle Bone uses a brand new processor from TI, from our Satara group, uh, called the AM335X. Now the 335X includes an ARM Cortex-A8 processor, a 3D graphics accelerator, and a whole bunch of really useful peripherals, including a programmable real-time unit for those very hard real-time tasks. Now, we've created this board, the Beagle Bone, um, using this processor, and tried to make it as low cost as possible so that people can get access to the technology as easily as, as possible and cheaply. Uh, so on the board we have the pieces that are really required for development. So the processor, the power supply, the memory, uh, some debug capability, and connection expansion for Ethernet and USB. We give you all the other options to expand the platform using these expansion connectors. Now I've got here one of those expansion connectors which offers a DVI display solution to allow you to connect to an external monitor. And there are a lot of these different expansion boards being made available now. And I'd like to show you another one here. This is the first LCD display. It's a seven inch wide VGA display. And the Beagle Bone attaches right on the back. We have a little demo here that uh, shows the Beagle Bone in action. And of course, it's not all about hardware. It's also about having great open source and available software. So in this demonstration here, we've got uh, a couple of different software options, all available out of the box for the BeagleBone. On the left here, we have our Startware option, which is Beardeck solution for access to the low-level capabilities of the platform. Uh, and you can see here I'm accessing the touchscreen and monitoring a CAN bus network, uh, which is configured here, displaying the position of a motor in this network. On the far side, I've got a full Linux distribution running, uh, including 3D graphics. So as you can see, this platform is really good for those applications that require high-performance ARM Cortex processing with a rich mix of peripherals and also wanting to create nice, interesting user interface experience. I've also got another demonstration here where I have another BeagleBone connected up to an AWI robot connected through USB and I can use a tablet to control the operation of this motor. The Beagle Bone is running a web server which allows us to control the bone from the tablet. So I'd also like to show you the Beagle Wall, which you may have seen before, but this is based upon our BeagleBoard XM technology. So six BeagleBoard XMs, each having a one gigahertz ARM Cortex-A8 processor and driving each of these HD displays. And what we're able to do is play video across these devices and use network synchronization messages to play the video in sync. Now this is all done with open source software using the video technology from the LibAV team. So a new addition to the wall this time is the addition of a BeagleBone. So we've taken the same BeagleBone we were using earlier with its web server and we've added on top a prototype daughter card to measure the power and the temperature of the wall. And you can see here that even in an unoptimized solution, we're running at 30 degrees, uncooled, and we're less than 20 watts. And over on this side, we've got our latest Panda board, the Panda board ES, uh, running dual core Cortex-A9 at 1.2 gigahertz with its 3D graphics engine, and we're showing the latest Ubuntu distribution running here. 3D graphics, 1080p video on the Panda board ES. And on this Panda board, we're showing the latest 3D Compiz window manager, leveraging the 3D graphics accelerator with tools like 
the wobbly windows. As you can see, lots of exciting things happening around these community platforms. And for more information about the BeagleBone and these other platforms, please visit BeagleBoard.org.